Ellen, Thornton, writer, critic, amateur geologist, provocateur, feminist. So I've, I've taken a year out from my um, job at the council to explore the traditionally male preserve of science fiction and how it had opened the feminist imagination. We'll be exploring time, space, and leave our own minds. Welcome to Ellen Thornton's Reminisce Sci-Fi video blog. Digital face flying over the sea. Gender hacks. Rico, the gender mainframe. Hello everyone, I'm Ellen Thornton and this is my feminist sci-fi video blog. I've got uh, a very weak uh, warm squash here. Mmm. Mm. Delicious orange. And um, this is episode three, gender hack. Well, I'm, I'm sure you're wondering what, what, what is a gender hack? Well, so, um, theorist Hannah Faraway explains that um, a gender hack is where the binary of male, female, rational, socialist, cis, trans, hetero, homo, on, off, black, white, sugar, no sugar, meets with the hybrid organism of the 21st century mainframe in this ironic uh, rhetorical blasphemy. A mythic fantasy creature living at the same time in social real reality. So it basically means uh, turning into a man or, or a lady uh, using um, cyber science. So identity hacking can be used um, as a political tool, as a, as a social tool, to unify, you know, really, really meaninglessly arbitrary categories like, like man and woman, you know, transgressed boundaries. What's this? It looks like an ordinary remote control, perhaps for a VCR or home stereo system. It is remote control, but it's anything but ordinary. In the city of Elecadia, a youngster becomes a young lady or a young gentleman. They change over. So let's just stop there and pause and think how much um, empathy would you have for the opposite sex if you actually knew what it was like? You know, I think I think there'd be a lot. There's also another story. Can't remember the name of it or the author. Sorry, but um, basically there's, there's a band of rebels and um, hacker rebels, and they go around um, changing the gender of, of famous politicians and celebrities before important events, and and it's really very funny. Um, and then we can we can lose our flesh. We can lose our flesh, and then we'll be cohesed without the painful, unnecessary gender binary. We can live in cyberspace, unified. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's um, video blog. It's come to my attention. It's, it's a website that certifies pornography as, as free range or fair trade, something like that. It ensures that the actors and actresses um, enjoy full private health care, psychotherapy from, from really, really leading innovators actually in the field. They're, they're regularly handed leaflets about uh, subsidised local education courses, HTML, um, NVQ childcare, you know, stain, stained glass windows. There's even, there's even a sex workers union actually as well, um, which I thought was interesting. Do log on if um, you enjoy pornography, but uh, want to do so responsibly.